Hi guys, this video is for Justin Kinger. Uh, he downloaded my minecart station in a box and had a couple issues getting it going. Um, we'll uh, download his world here and uh, see if we can get it fixed. So it's level 3, or world 3. Um, the main problem is that uh, he's got a single booster for some reason. Uh, I don't know if it gets broken in transit or what happens, but if there's only one booster down here, uh, it's not going to work. And the other problem is these uh, pieces of track are in the wrong orientation. All three of these are, are incorrect, and that's because of the rotation. When you insert it into a world and rotate it, it messes up the north, south, east, west stuff. And... Uh, causes problems. So we need to earn, invert both of these um, both of these torches. Make sure I get the right one. That one. And I need to invert uh, these this um, line of redstone. These are activated not with torches but direct redstone. And this one is activated by this torture. So to change the orientation of this torch here we'll just remove this inverter and add some redstone, which I need to magically add using in embed it in INB edit. We'll cheat here and we'll add direct redstone. So now this torch it was off, now it's on. And now we need to change the orientation of this line of redstone dust, and that's pretty easy as well. We'll just remove this torch and add some dust. So let's see if that worked. Alright, so now the uh, booster is in the right orientation. It'll keep boosting, and this track piece is in the right orientation. When this line of redstone goes off, it'll release the double booster, and it'll also change this into a complete loop so that the double booster uh, just sits here and rotates. And also this track piece is now fixed and it will only release the cart when the button is push, pushed upstairs. So to set up our double booster um, you can do the um, put the cart down here, put a block and a piece of track on top and then destroy the block and it falls down. Um, that works. Um, I'm lazy so I just do it the brute force method. Just push on them until they go together. Seems to work. Um, now let's go up here and see if it works. Cross your fingers. All right, it should be uh, activate the push plate. The cart should be sitting there rotating, and it should come up here and boost us off on track number four. Cool, it worked. Let me go. Uh, whoops, jump. Do one more test, and uh, um, I'm not sure if this is in the right orientation. What button did I push? So we, we might have to fix that as well. In fact, I'm pretty sure we'll have to. All right, so we'll set up our card again. What button did I push before? I'll push destination one, and uh, see if we go down track number one. Now we're on track number four. So we need to fix that as well. That's a pain, I know. Um, we got zombies out here? Hello. Don't come in. Our gate is working fine. All right, so we need to change the orientation. I pushed button one, so now the track should be taking you to button or to track one, and it is not. So all three of these pieces of track need to be um, inverted. And as before, it's very easy to do. Um, I need to invert this torch, so I just remove this inverter, which I added to uh, fix a problem in the other one. So now we can go back to the original state. So that torch is now on, it's inverted. And I'll remove this torch. So that torch is now inverted. I think. And. Uh, and we'll remove this inverter and just connect it directly. So I did that right, I think. We'll find out. 
All right, so now if you are, we should be in configuration for track one, and it's going to track one. I would test it, but then I'm going to fall right into the arms of this stupid zombie. Fine. Bye-bye. All right, so let's do a run-through and make sure it's working for him, and then I'll... Uh, save this file for him and uh, hopefully it'll work great. Alright, so track number one, button number one, or destination number one, it should end up on track number one. Oops, yep, track number one. That worked. Any more mo oh, peaceful. Duh. Um, we'll run through all four of them just to be safe. I didn't. I did mention the the fact that you need to check the orientation of the uh, right or the departure area, but I did, neglected to mention that you need to do the same for the booster area. So I apologize for that. But it's um, it's basically you just invert it and uh, it'll work fine. So now that track number two is working fine. And pardon me while I just run through the other two just to be safe. Oops. If it's cockeyed, I don't think it'll work quite right. So let's try that again. All right, now three. Yep, that's working. Um, well, yes, it is working. And uh, just for fun, we'll do four. Wish he'd made some stairs for me. Tired. All right. Four. And we are on track number four. So uh, it's working. I'll uh, save this file for him. And if anybody else has any uh, trouble getting this work, I can do the same for you. But hopefully, uh, this little tutorial uh, will show you how to fix any of your, any problems with uh, track orientations. Alright, thanks for watching.